How about a prize where you take a group of students and a teacher, kind of like the solar car thing, and you just say, build a school from the ground up. Design it, find the people you need, find the resources, who's it going to serve, where's it going to sit, how are you going to site it, is it green, is it not green, what are going to be, and as they go through the process, they'll learn a thousand times more than what they would have learned in a classroom. And at the end of the year, you could take it, they could go somewhere nationally and they could have a big com um, competition where they present and the winner actually gets to build their school. I think that we ought to give a prize for putting together kids with legislators. So I would like to see legislators actually get in touch with some of their constituents who are kids, not the parents and not the teachers and not the school administrators. And let's, let's promote a little kids' liberation here. I thought what would be really neat is if we had innovation funds um, that we went to learning communities such as schools and if you started with a, a basic investment say $50,000 or $100,000 and um, you're asked the community to invest in themselves. One idea is how do we create a hundred dollar summer solution that helps students who graduate high school avoid remediation in college. That's be easy. If you do it for a hundred bucks, what would that look like? Another would be, how do we teach the tens of millions of people who don't, uh, are English language learners in this country? There's only, you know, one million or less who are in informal ESL programs. So how do you do it cheaply, mobily, engaging, and start to bring them into uh, a, a learning process? Well, what if teachers are rewarded for creating open source materials, posting them, etc., with a sabbatical day or two mid-year that they get to choose. In terms of incentivizing, I'd like to see a way to incentivize, incentivize legislatures. If we were to relax term limits for um, if the legislature meets a certain number of goals, like suppose that the, uh, they were to pass a budget on time, uh, then during the next, uh, for, two, for two years in a row, then during the next year, they would, uh, the, the term limits would be relaxed for them. They would be able to run again. They're, they were a legislature that has shown they can work together uh, and, and they go back and get voted upon. It would be a citizen's referendum. Then they can move forward with the innovation that's needed. Maybe an award to incentivize teachers to get their kids to be more aut autonomous. We don't have a way of knowing whether we're moving the dial or we're falling back when we have these innovations. And so uh, to find which way's up, I think we need a new way of communicating, much like the internet. We have HTML, we have XML, we have codified conventions and language. We need a data model that can be nimble to every educational assessment that ever happens anywhere, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's in the community, but every competency assessment that ever occurs should matter and we should care enough to build a model that's nimble to those uh, bits of information that tell us about who a person is and what they can do and what their potential is and how they can contribute. Lisa mentioned that she'd like to see an X Prize and for measuring learning. I was thinking that if what we're ultimately trying to do is create multi mutually beneficial partnerships, if we have a prize that only measures learning, that's only one half of the partnership. So we also need a prize that shows how to measure the effect of the partnership on the community. Mm -hmm.